Hello guys, happy new week. <coughs> this is Monday and you guys might be wondering why I'm in this situation right now. I was creating content for Instagram, snapping pictures for my Instagram page to be precise and they took delight on me and I'm currently sweating. I want to take this off right now. I have a vlog that's going to be coming up today by 6 p.m. about my Thanksgiving service, IT and some other stuff in the video. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here. Make sure to go and watch it and subscribe to my channel. I'll be going to work today. I don't have anything much to do today. I just want to clean up my room because it's scattered because I was looking for what to wear to take this Instagram picture and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So good morning it's tuesday and it's 7 21 i have to be leaving this house before 8 a.m i haven't had my bath i'll be meeting up with my friend to go to work today i wanted to use a few minutes to like talk to you guys about what happened to me yesterday i was in this place yesterday where i was just thinking about my life and seeing why 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 me i was just questioning like myself and things that are happening there i was angry with my who pro like could I say my whole like YouTube situation because yesterday I posted a vlog that was about my Thanksgiving service and about my industrial training and about like basic things that happened in the vlog. I'm sorry for the background noise. And I ended up with nine views in two hours. And I was like, Jesus Christ, have my subscribers um run away from me? And then it's weird to say but I began to cry. I was tearing up about the situation because I felt like I was left out, something like that. I was like, why me? Why are people not watching my videos? Why are people not subscribing? It's one of the struggles of YouTubers. Um, you know, I want to call myself a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. Not, I've not gotten to that level of calling me because I'm not a YouTuber. No, no. So a few tears dropped from my eyes and I was like, I don't even know what to say again. So hit this milestone of 100 videos on my channel yesterday I posted it on my instagram one of my friends congratulated me i was like i've come a long way this and that and that really motivated me and i was like i was i was really like happy about that and then somebody on my channel on my the recent vlog i commented i said that i commented i posted uploaded rather on my channel yesterday someone commented um uh, it's I was so inspiring all of that and I didn't see anything inspiring in the video so I was just like happy that people were like doing that uh, commenting those things and it's it really got to me that you know it's not everything that comes so fast you have to work to get to a particular place that you want to be in life do not give up just because of mere things of not getting views or subscribers maybe you posted a video today you're getting 12 views in a day or two days nothing just keep on being consistent i noticed that my inconsistency on my channel when i was in school affected me a whole lot that's why being consistent on, on youtube is very very important it goes a long way in like holding your subscribers together making them know that you're always there to put out content for them to watch but like when you become inconsistent um, your subscribers tend to like you know dis disperse and they be like oh sh where's our where is this girl that we're, we're watching and they suddenly like leave and all of that and yesterday i used that yesterday to like think quite deep into it and say okay you're overthinking this whole thing just be consistent put out the work and then you see like um, results it's not just waking up one day and saying okay i want my video to blow up no you have to be consistent it's not something that just happens in a day or a month or a year for, for some people it can happen very very fast um, for some people it happens very slowly it takes time for some people i hope that um what i say right now impacted something on somebody out there that has been struggling with your youtube channel it is to tell you that you're not alone i'm also in with you in this um we all um get or progress together and yeah i think i've talked too much i have to go and prepare for work
guys good evening today is Thursday and this is me picking up my camera to film like after two days I've been working to, throughout this week I went to work on, on Tuesday Thursday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I work three times in a week Monday is still in the east so I work three days and on Friday is my free day to the next Tuesday so it's been so hard um, filming my workplace or showing you guys what it looks like i have a few clips like of the compound but not like the inside building of the place because i feel like it's the kind of place they won't want me to film do you understand so what i do every day is kind of repetitive because i'm working at a radio station and under the client service department so i'm in the client service department so what we do today is or what we do tomorrow we, we what we do basically is that we cost adverts and then we re register it in a, we have a register where we register the client's name the person that wants a particular advert where there's a radio advert or a television advert we cost the adverts we register it there and the receipt number and everything before we forward it to, the, to like the studio where it will be aired so that's basically what i do every day so i can't film like the same thing three days it will be so boring for you guys to watch tomorrow i'll be going to the bank because it, i in my last vlog I mentioned the fact that I wanted to finish up my domiciliary account so I've started a process and they told me to come back on Friday with something so I'm going to be going on Friday that's tomorrow to the bank I literally have no time for myself again so like I'm going to the bank tomorrow to, to drop that off and maybe I might go to the market or not and just come back home and rest I'll, do content for instagram i don't know but for now i'm not just going to like i to be, to, to be honest to, i don't even want to plan tomorrow because i'm already stressed thinking about it this whole week has been so stressful another thing i want to explain to you guys is that my whole it thing is so exhausting why because i'm working in uma here and i have to like travel to and fro tuesday wednesday thursday Meaning, I have to travel from my bath to my hair on Tuesday, Thursday, and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That means I travel three times in a week, and that's going to last for like three months. And how many weeks do you have in a month? Four weeks, and that's so oh, like exhausting to even think. We're still in June, and we have July, August, and September, and it's just so exhausting. I have to travel like three times in a week to go to work. I want to update you guys a little up update. For not showing up for a few days and yeah i'm still wearing the same thing i wore from the other day because i'm ready to sleep yeah so um i'll show you guys i'll vlog tomorrow probably yeah i can just need to update you guys so good night till tomorrow good morning guys um this is friday still wearing the same thing because i just woke up and I decided to show you guys these personal nails that I did. I decided to go overboard this time because I don't usually do this kind of nails because this is too long for me. I can't even handle them. I can't even pick up anything and I'm going to cut them this morning. I don't even care how they look like after cutting them because I'm going to cut them. I can't deal with this. Those of you that hand do can, that I can handle this kind of nails, you're the best because I can't. Picking up something from the floor is very hard for me with this thing. But it looks so nice. I said to show you guys. I set a picture of them. Let's go to someone that has better lighting to show you. Okay, look at them from here. Are you seeing how fine they are? Oh my god! Go and sit down. Go and sit. I beg. <coughs> Avoid embarrassments. I would go and cut this. So a shorter lens. I don't want to, but I want to at the same time because I don't want to go there and be doing my pen like this. And be like, where is this one coming from? Back to the camera. I was going to have my bath and come back to see you guys, but I said to cut them and see what they would look like. And this is what this one is looking like. I don't know. What do I see? This side is still looking good, still giving me French chips, but I am not able to, I'm not willing to handle this still giving all french tips because i i made sure to cut them well but then this area is so good but then i don't want to start what i cannot finish i want to 
no my what I'm doing fast. I don't want my nails to be the things that will hold me back. I tried to cut them more shorter and this one is not looking like so I'm going to take out everything right now and have peace of mind. So guys at this point i was trying to greet you guys and tell you guys about my workplace but unfortunately for me my mic wasn't working i didn't go to work with my mic so i was trying to use my like my headphones to get the mic to talk to you guys but then the mic wasn't working and that was Ogadima greeting you guys i was just basically talking about my workplace and showing off my beautiful skin before someone crossed and i was feeling so awkward and as you can see here, Ogadima was very busy with her granots. She wasn't distracted. This was what I wore to my workplace. Just a trouser with a blouse that was flare. And I was busy looking up and down to check whether anyone was crossing. Except for Ogadima that was sitting there with me. I was feeling so anxious so that someone would not cross and I would feel awkward. But unfortunately, you can see what happened. I ran with my camera, taking it up because someone was actually coming. <laughs> this is my little desk where I sit down and have a register, which is not right here. That used to cost my adverts. And this was Ogadima, tired of work and sleeping on duty. Then we later went to Vision Africa to meet up with one of our friends because we were traveling to Abad together. From our workplace her name is mercy you can see her she's very hyperactive here showing off her dance skills ogadima became an emergency camera woman for someone we didn't even know 